What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2Wild, checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual. Back with another banger today, guys, on the review of the upcoming Jordan 1 Jewelry. Guys, before we even get to this video, I got a live giveaway going on right now. Check out the link in the description. Check out my previous video giveaway going live on these right here. If you want to get a pair, make sure you guys tune in because I will leave it all down below in the description and free pair for you guys. The Jordan 1 Gym Red is set to release on June 29th. Retails $160 and it pays homage to the original, originated Jordan 1 colorway. That red, that black, and that white. You already know we've seen this in so many shape forms. Black toes, breads, bread one, bread toes, black toe breads. I don't, Chicago's, there's so many different red, black, and white type of Jordan 1s that are out there. And this is just a brand new one being brought to the collection for all you Jordan 1 heads out there. Overall, I think the shoe is quite clean. It's cleansed, as Mike Rich would say. I like the shoe a lot. The materials are well put together. It does have that shiny look to it that a lot of you guys may think it looks like a bad type of quality leather, but overall, when you actually see it and feel it, you're gonna see, okay, this leather quality, it's pretty good, it's pretty good, it's pretty pretty dope. It reminds me a lot of that biker leather leather jacket, like it's got like a biker jacket type of leather on it. it has a nice little shine. However, there's a lot of uh, like tumbleness going on throughout the shoe. I don't even know if I'm saying it, grain, tumble, whatever. It's not just a slick leather. Like it has some type of grain going on throughout the whole entire shoe that makes the shoe just look and feel more plush and a little bit better quality if you ask me. A lot of the great quality comes on the high ankle right here. The red around the ankle is very, very nice and plush. And that one reminds me a lot of the Sports Illustrated shoe that we saw this past year. I believe that was this past year. Sports Illustrated as well as the Rookie Ones. They got that similar type of leather feel around the ankle collar. So overall though, it's a pretty nice shoe. It has another set of laces that are in red. And as stated, these release on the 30th. Now, wait, did I say 30th? My bad, the 20th. Let, let, me, let me fact check that real quick. So yeah, they release on the 29th, that is Saturday. And overall, I think that these will, I don't know if they're gonna sell out. I mean, they're going for like $300 right now. That's early and that's pretty normal for any Jordan 1. They usually sell around the $250, $300 price point. But then when they release, they usually sell out. I mean, even the Crimson Tents that didn't really go for much afterwards, I don't see them in stores, you know what I'm saying? And I sold my pair. This pair in particular, it also has a hint of sale on the midsole. Now all this is like white, but the midsole is sale. They keep bringing that sale, sale, sale all from hell into all these colorways. I'm kind of tired of it, I can't even lie. So on the box here, I just wanted to read the colorway. It says black slash gem red slash white sale. So like I said, once again, another sale colorway. Overall, I am very skeptical, like whether or not I'm gonna keep this pair, like whether or not this is for me. I like the colorway, don't get me wrong. If you want a gem red Jordan 1, I, I say go for it, you know, at the end of the day. But like I stated before, right now I'm on a sneaker, you know, pass or flip. I gotta make decisions. You know, I just picked up those Laker SBs. Like, it's another Jordan 1 I just got. Like, do I get this Jordan 1 now? I don't know. Like, I honestly don't know. This is a size eight and a half. Feel free to hit your boy up if you have any questions about these. If you, if you might want them off, you know, if you want to get a pair, just feel free to email me and hit me up. But I don't know, I'm on the fence whether or not to keep them. Let me know, guys, that, should I keep them or not? Are these pass or cop? You know, I, I just don't know. You know, the colorway is nice, but this would be like the fifth black and red, you know, Jordan one in my collection. So it's just hard to tell. But let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section if you like them, if you don't, if you're copying them, if you're not. And I'm gonna end you guys off with an on foot review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Slap a like, comment down below, join my giveaway. As stated, link will be down below in the description. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. It's your boy Tony D2 Wild. I'm checking in, I'm checking out.